Uh, let's move on. I want to talk about the Marco stunt non-controversy that, uh, yeah. that, that somehow people are trying to make a controversy. So last week on AEW Dynamite, for anybody that missed it, Luchasaurus was injured. Marco Stunt took his place uh, with uh, Jungle Boy against the Leecher Bros in the tag team tournament. There was a lot of online criticism about how much offense Marco Stunt got in on the match, obviously because of his size. Now, I will say this as a wrestling fan. This is just my opinion as a wrestling fan. I will admit that they lost me later in the match. Uh, when he made a comeback. Because what happened was at the beginning, he was doing stuff like uh, Hurricane Ronas and stuff, which I'm cool with. Lita used to do a bunch of those to the male wrestlers and a lot of other women have. That's fine. He did a bunch of Hurricane Ronas. What happened was he got beat down for like five, six, seven minutes. He was practically laying dead in the ring. Then he made a comeback on Pentagon. As a wrestling fan, I will admit they lost my interest when Marco Stunt made the comeback on Pentagon. But it wasn't controversial to me. To me, like we've talked about, there's stuff that's subjective in wrestling. You like it or you don't like it. Am I a fan of Joey Ryan's gimmick? No. Am I a fan of Orange Cassidy's bullshit? No. Does that mean that he's not allowed to do it and no one else is allowed to like it? No. That's just my opinion. But for some reason, this Marco Stunt thing, he got a lot of hate on online because he had so much offense in the match, which, which wasn't even probably his decision in the first place. He didn't agent the match. Sorry? Yeah, he didn't agent the match. Exactly, he didn't agent he, the match, exactly. Now, I don't have any inside information on this. This is my just presumption. Right. Uh, I get the feeling that before Luchasaurus went down with an injury, this match was already timed out, and they had to fill that time. I think they should be able to pivot and adjust on the fly. That's a part of live TV. It's something you're going to have to get used to. There's right. going to be injuries. There's going to be things like that. Did I like it? No. I didn't like that. Do I like Marco Stunt? Yes, I do. I like Marco Stunt a lot. Uh, I will never forget as long as I live the Joey Ryan lost in New York spot where he came out of the crowd and he did that spot where he gets thrown up in the air and he catches someone with a code breaker. Mm. And he did like, it was amazing. And in a year, that guy has worked really, really hard to get better and continues to work hard to get better. And I see all these dumbasses online trying to because when jericho said oh ray mysterio was light when i met him and people were like oh he was 14 and they linked to pictures of steroided out ray mysterio from the 2000s right uh, sorry guys maybe go back and look at what he looked ECW. like ecw and yeah before yeah. that yeah mexico he was tiny he was billed at one point as 5'3 130 pounds yep build now, did I like the way that that match unfolded? No, I didn't. I would have done it much, much differently. But Marco Stunt is a kid trying to become a man and working his ass off to do it. And there's a reason why almost everybody, except for bitter assholes, like this guy. Because he is working really hard. And he did get that opportunity because he, he earned it and he's worth it. And because he's different and he's special. Him being small is a part of the attraction. That's why they got him. If he's honestly, if he's 5'9, 160, 170, I don't know if he gets signed. And yeah. that's not that's not like a condemnation of his abilities no, you're at right. all. You're right. It's not, because he's very good. But him being special is is what helped get him signed. Uh, more power to him. 